um, uncivilized vitality and this video is going to be about hygiene uh, one of the five vital paths hygiene and especially out in the woods a lot of times um, we get questions on our longer uh, you know two three day events how to stay clean obviously um, oral hygiene with your toothbrush and your toothpaste that's always good to have and good clean water but let's talk about um, other ways to clean pre-civilized people used uh, oil scraping and dry brushing I'm a big fan of those things obviously we're not going to take a shower out in the woods but we'll, we'll dip in the lake or river and just get a good rinse but uh, every now and then you need to uh, use good old-fashioned soap and this is how you do it when you're outside okay and this will also be a shameless plug for the type of soap so I keep this little uh, usually I usually have a smaller bag. I have this little chunk of um, all-natural soap. We'll go over that. Let's get that out. And then I've gone down to, I didn't have a bucket, so I walked down to uh, a water source. And then I just use my marigami or my uh, shemog cotton. That's going to be my drying towel. And in this little waterproof bag or bucket, I just get some water. Now, you don't just lather up with your camp suds or your detergents like your dial or your dish soap or the stuff you would use at home where we have water treatment facilities. Part of being ecologically responsible being out there is not uh, wrecking the environment for everyone else. So you gather your water and you go at least 300 yards from any running water or water source. And then you've, you've got your water and you've got your little bit of soap. So what I can do is I can cut or take a little piece of that soap. I can get that in there. I get my hands uh, sudsed up and real soap is just uh, lye and fat or oil of some type and I've got my soap I get that down in there and I can get my face washed I can get around my ears and such I could wash my hands after maybe skinning or cleaning an animal or before food prep and then I can just rinse if I wanted a bit of an extra scrub maybe a whole body, um, obviously not where we're filming, but I would go off by myself and I'd use my bandana, wring that up in the water, suds myself up a little bit, rinse, uh, wash off with that, okay. Use my bandana, right? Rinse it pretty good, get the soap back out of it. Maybe throw that up over a tree branch or somewhere to dry in the wind. Let that dry. Then I can use my other, my blanket, my cotton towel. If you're fastidious enough to be dried, need to be dried off. Otherwise, you can just let yourself drip dry. Uh, it won't hurt. And then the water is mostly, it's very little soap in there because I use the soap uh, suds outside. Then I just take the water and I can just disperse that along the forest floor somewhere. And that um, little bit of natural soap is not going to cause us any trouble. So here's um, the natural soap that I have. This would be a shameless plug for the type of soap. I used to use, especially at home, I like this Dr. Squatch because it's men's natural pine tar soap. Oatmeal and sand, heavy grit. That's what I like. On the back we have saponified oils, a sustainable palm, coconut, olive, naturally derived fragrance. That's a little suspicious. Shea butter, pine tar, pine essential oil, oatmeal, sand, activated charcoal, kale and clay, sea salt. Naturally derived uh, fragrance is probably from essential oils, but natural oils, cold pressed, dermatologist tested. Uh, soap has been around for a long time and just plain soap and water is the best way to stay clean. Now, shameless plug for the type of soap I just used. This comes from Soap Dude. All right, Soap Dude. Uh, which I thought was pretty clever and here's his contact information his name is Dewey soap dude I thought that was uh, uh, pretty good so um, Dewey and Crystal uh, we met them yesterday or the other day at an event we did uh, I was doing a presentation and then they were across from us in the uh, the vendor alley and I kept looking at the soap uh, soap display and I went over to check it out turns out Crystal had been on one of our um, um, UV events, I think it was last, I can't remember when, but it was uh, something we were retained to do by a group called uh, Ethos uh, Yoga and their How to Be Human program. So they contracted with us to take a group, 16 or 17 
uh, women out to do some field craft and bush craft and Krista was one of them. She went while she was pregnant, which was pretty cool. Made her kind of stand out in my memory. So last, uh, ran at her the other day at the event and then her um, uh, husband Dewey and he's got soap dude and uh, I'm, I'm gonna use Dr. Squatch, nothing against the Squatch. This is good for home use, but out in the woods, I'm gonna start using soap dude. Uh, this is the uh, ginger pine that I just used, that's real nice. Ingredients, saponified oils, coconut and olive, essential oils for fragrance, and uh, kale and clay. That's it. They also had forest fresh, which is a good flavor. I always call them flavors, I don't know why I don't eat them. And uh, tea tree citrus, same thing. Kale and clay, essential oils, and uh, saponified oils. So, so if you don't know or you don't have access to Google, Saponification is the chemical process that, that makes soap. Saponification usually involves uh, some sort of um, alkali like lye and um, natural fats. We made soap a couple years ago with um, bacon fat and some uh, lye we made through the ashes of our fire. It's delicious smelling soap, but it was uh, <laughs> a little soft. It was soft bacon soap. So. Uh, this is one of the ways you can stay clean outdoors. Again, I would recommend going to Soap Dude and get you some soap. Cut you a little sliver off your home bar, wrap it up in a package and throw it in your cleaning kit. If you've got your bandana with you, you can dry off or scrub with that. And then um, you can stay clean in the outdoors. All right, that's it. Um, smash up on the like button for Rendell and then uh, subscribe. Share the channel and turn on notifications so you get some more videos whenever some new idea pops into my head uh, like this. And this was just a shameless plug for Soap Dude. Please go buy some of their soap. Awesome stuff. Thanks.